Welcome, quite literally, to the road to hell. 48 kilometers behind me is a town called De Hell. We're deep in the Swartberg Mountains, about five hours outside Cape Town. And there's only one road in to this town and one road out. And I'm told it's one of the most vicious roads in the world, bucking, weaving, all gravel and with sheer drops on either side. Um, it's only 48 kilometers, but I'm told it's going to take over two hours to get there. The last time I traveled that slowly, I was on my commute to London. Now, I was told in order to survive this thing, you have to bring a four x four vehicle. And that's exactly what I've done. It just happens to be the Mercedes GLA 45 AMG. Not the most rugged four x four in the world. Clearly, I brought a water pistol to a gunfight, but it's small and it's nimble and it's fast and I'm gonna stick by my decision. Right, just one thing left to do. We've gotta leave our mark so people know we were here. Ah, there we go, Stiggy. This is Jack Ricks for Top Gear, going straight to hell. Just another example here of just how narrow and rocky and gnarly these roads are. This is a uh, pretty serious hairpin here that we've just got around. But the reason we stopped is I wanted to show you the reason we're putting ourselves and the car through this torture. And it's this. Just look at that view. Look at that valley. That's why we've come here. That down there, ladies and gentlemen, that's hell. Well, de hell at least. Um, I would say town, but it's more a collection of buildings. We're actually going to be sleeping there tonight. But before we get there, we've got to negotiate this final stretch. They say the best till last, and it's the steepest, most winding section with the biggest drop offs and the most potential for death. So, we've got to keep our concentration. We've got to keep going. We're nearly there. I'll see you on the other side. I can't believe we've actually made it here. There were so many things that were conspiring against us. Um, the first snow of, of the year uh, in this part of South Africa. So we thought the mountain pass was gonna be closed. In the end, it was open. It was a bit hairy at the summit, but we made it through. And the car, of course, um, probably not the most practical 4x4 for a road that's that extreme. And I'm absolutely astonished that it managed it, no punctures, no major bits of bodywork hanging off. It's been an absolute soldier. Um, and our reward is we end up here in this beautiful valley, miles from anywhere, probably the most remote place I've ever been in my life. Um, it's been quite a day. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna get some peace and quiet, catch up on my rest. <laughs> 